Welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. Before you can utilize your strengths, say at the gym or during your workout, you need to know what they are. But we're actually talking about, you know, strengths like in your mind. Phil Blair from Manpower's here. I mean, unless you're going to do a workout segment for us. Are you? I, and I could do that. Okay. You know, that's... That I'm very flexible. Too. Whatever okay. you, you know, well. whatever works. You want to do push-ups like uh, <laughs> no. Nathan Fletcher did um, one time. Does that help you get yeah. a job? Uh, no. No. Okay. So, what kind uh, of strength are you talking about? Shape does. Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. No, it really does. We okay. could talk about it on another program. But, okay. Um, <laughs> but today you're talking about leveraging the, the strengths that you that you that you have uh, in order to get the job that you want. Yeah. From a from an HR person's point of view, there's a trick we use called behavioral interviewing, and what that says, Alexis, is. Tell me about a time that you did something or other. Mm -hmm. I want an example. I want a story, right, about don't just say I'm good at cutting costs or I'm good at increasing sales. I want examples. So tell me about a time that you increased sales above goal or something. Well, a lot of times people go, oh, I don't know, because mm -hmm. especially if we're really good at something, it seems easy to us. But you don't even and know how great you are at it. Exactly. Okay. And so what I suggest people do is... Take 10, 20 friends, family, and say, write an episode to me, mm -hmm. back to me, about something that you thought I was really good at or that went really well, and one paragraph. Okay. And then what you, do, what you get back is, oh, yeah, that was really neat that I accomplished that, and our team did that, or I forgot I led that that new product introduction sort of thing. And it comes back as stories and talking about a new product in introduction, for example. And now you have stories and strengths to talk about about yourself. And should that be included in the interview without them even having to ask? It, you know, I'm, a, I'm very organized because I did such and such instead of having them say, tell me about a time you demonstrated you were so organized. Well, remember, you've got three or four points. You want to come and do an interview and you want to make those points. Mm -hmm. These are your strengths and these are why you should hire me. Right? Mm -hmm. If you don't ask me those questions, then my job is to get them into the conversation. Remember, I, we, talk, we joke about politicians who say, tell me about your stand on Iraq, and mm -hmm. they go, I'm glad you asked about jobs. We need jobs in this country, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, it's almost the same thing, uh -huh. and you can practice it to segue it. But you want to get your strengths out there, and as an interviewer, if I don't ask the ones that let you tee up your strengths, then you start to manage the conversation. It can be, at the end, Every interview ends with, their, do you have any questions? Is there anything we didn't talk about that we should have? Bingo. There should always be something that you didn't mention, right? Well, you should always have questions about the company mm -hmm. that show you did your research, you looked into the new products, you worked to get this interview, and you did your research. That's also the time you didn't ask me about product introduction, and I want to tell you about something that I'm excited about, and how it applies to this company because you sort of have to relate all those issues so that when you walk out of the room, people like me are going, wow, she was really sharp. I was very surprised. I didn't know she did this and this because it wasn't on the resume, which is a little bit of a mistake. But a lot of times conversations in an in a interview go a whole different direction than you mm -hmm. think they're going to. Yeah. So you've got to be able to, to punt when it's time to do it. And so uh, having stories to tell is an important piece of that, and it keeps the conversation going. Beautiful. Stories to tell and do your push-ups ahead of time. That's right. Stay <laughs> <Okay>. in shape. <laughs> okay, good. Glad we got that. Thanks. Phil, thanks so much for coming You're in. Welcome.